back. So thank you very much for doing that. No problem. It had to be done. You know, the, um, the extent to which the Commission has delayed important rulings on disclosure, especially when we have the witnesses from the government on the stand, cabinet ministers, that we need to see what they wrote in their notes. They've redacted them. We know the redactions aren't lawful. And here the commissioners sat on that ruling for four or five days while these witnesses are actually appearing. So it had to be done. Uh, we were trying really hard to expose the fact that critical evidence that we needed to cross-examine on to expose the truth was being withheld. Now there was a witness that you were trying to bring in one of your applications and that was denied? Yes. Okay. How can we get more information out of that person or something? Well, I, I think in some respects we moved past that this is part of what happens when you're in a battle like this and it's it also happens in normal litigation as well is that you you roll with the little fight you're in and then you roll right into the next one and you keep going and keep going and, and eventually get to the end. So the critical right and you testified um, earlier about what you viewed as, you know, ensuring uh, that we as Canadians have a good international reputation so that uh, people come to our country and want to do business with us. Is that fair? Yes, that's something I was very concerned about. Okay. And I take it when you consider those sort of things, you look at various reports and uh, I'm sure you look at uh, various indexes and uh, I'm sure you look at the Transparency International Index. Is that fair? I am familiar with the Transparency International Index, but I haven't looked at it recently. Okay. Well, since 2019, um, we've began to fall. All right. And we have now come down out of the top 10 and it continues to decline. So can you agree with me that Canada not being transparent, hurts our relationship internationally. I have to say that I disagree with the premise of the question. I think Canada is a very transparent democracy. And in fact, the commission that we're part of right now is a part of Canadian transparency. Right. That's, and that's why it's important. And on that point, if I told you that there is a whole bunch of unlawfully redacted documents that we've been fighting over and we're waiting for an order just to get them today, and we haven't had them for this whole proceeding, do you think that's transparent? Again, and with apologies, I can't agree with the premise of the question. I think that, right. but I, what I can say is, I think that the fact that this commission exists, that these hearings are being held, that they're public is really important for Canada and is a measure of Canadian transparency. Right. And one of your concerns, uh, of course, with transparency and our reputation uh, was that you would want your government to be as transparent as possible, right? Again, here, I do believe that transparency and accountability are important, but I also recognize that cabinet confidentiality in Not, many issues needs to yeah. be preserved for a reason. And, you know, there, there are areas where transparency is not appropriate, and I recognize that as well. Okay. Can you